Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Forge 1, here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We are here again inside the Power Core, I think. That's what it's called, and the area where I didn't think I was going to go, but, you know, I think, you know, we've been making some decent progress in it. So, let us proceed. First, let's do this and that to make sure our troops are all at tip top shape and let's heal them up now you guys all come if you remember this place has ambient damage so we do have to be careful oh there's a shade right here a mine shade it's hostile Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Come on, little fella. Come on, hammer. <laughs> Too big. Ugh. Come on. Little fella. Hurry it up. Wow, you are not bright. It's like I am not a smart critter. Just chill. You go over. Oh my goodness, you critters are dumb. Why are you guys so dense? Like, we don't know. We're dense. Why would we know what the reason for anything? I yeah, just chill. Yeah, that mind shade is just sort of hanging out. Alright, come along, Bodius. And just chill right there. Let's have this guy go over here. And get rid of him. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Just chill. That's fine. You come up this way. Oh, there's another one. Shoot him? Yes. Oh, almost got him. I think this will do the trick. Very good. Can you get this other guy? No, not yet. <laughs> Sorry, pal, that's not gonna work. Oh, wait, here. This devotees, can you do anything with that? You use your control key to shut down the power. Very good, Bodius. Excellent work. I wonder what will happen when we shut all this stuff off. Maybe the ambient power will turn down. The amb ambient damage will decrease. Oh, there's another treasure chest. Over here, yeah, let's go. This just goes to the center, but I want to see. Okay, so, yep, there's the center. Oh, this place is very, very dangerous. It damages you quite a lot. Uh, I don't know if he got far enough out of there to avoid damage or not. Okay, well, let's have you come this way. Too big. You just sort of go right here. Peek around the corner. Okay, good job peeking. <laughs> yeah, you come over here. Actually, come over here. You... Eh. Get up here. Yeah, just chill. You come over here. And chill. Turn that one off. Now you can come over here. Let's see, what should we do now? Come up here. You take a look. This is probably the way we're going to go next. I think this comes down here. There's a little... Probably a very dangerous passageway or something. 
if I remember correctly, actually. Uh, he didn't take any damage, or not much, anyways. Alright, now you can come take a better look. Ah, oh, there's a, a lever. A lever. Let me just chill right there. You come up here. Frost him. You turn that off. Okay, you just chill. You come up here. Hmm. You get over here. Yes. You get over here. Yes. Come right there. Where are you? Which one are you? Oh, you're up here. Okay, cool. That's shut off. So now, come up over here. Nothing! Alright, well, at least we... We got it. <laughs> got the whole lot of nothing. Just chill right there. You chill, you chill. Just chill right there, chill right there, chill right there. Rodius, you come up here. Actually. You turn out right here. Okay. I don't know what's inside this room, so probably something dangerous. Should take about one living tool. Uh, here actually, it's good. Combat mode. All right, cool. Let's actually reapply these. Let's see what's inside here. The, this room was where the servile bureaucrats and record keepers did their important work. You notice that the south door has some words carved into it. High security storage. No entry without shaper clearance and protection. But we have all the shaper clearance that we need. I think. <laughs> And we have lots of protection, so hopefully this will be enough. Come on, protection, get in here. This is exciting. I wonder what's in here. You just go right here, you look right here. Yeah, shape of records, big deal. Three living tools, okay. Now, get over here. And eh, shape a record. Big deal. Oh, there's... Look at this. Reaper turrets. Alright. That's not that big of a deal, but, you know, who knows. Let's just take a look right quick. Since... Bodius has tons of <laughs> movement points, which is really cool. Reaper turret is stunned. Stunned. Uh oh. Oh well. Just stay out of the way then. Come on, Drake. Cryo Drake, you need to take care of business. Very good. Is that really all it was? Just go over here, just out of the way. Okay. That's a bit weird. High security storage, huh? A grounding vest. Hmm. It definitely gives you it gives you energy resistance and plus 20% to energy resistance of creations. Wow, that's pretty cool. For especially a room like this. Let's see. Hmm. 
Well, we might need to use that. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, let's have the Glocks just and exit the room. You just stay here while the Bodies is still here. You as well. You go on out. You just stay right there. Oof, damage. Rough Crystal don't care. Rough Crystal don't care. Let's actually redo that again. Rough Crystal don't care. Rough Crystal don't care. Well, if you don't care about Rough Crystal like me, then there's nothing for you here. <laughs> but let's go. Since there's no enemies here, we can sort of cheese the mechanics. <laughs> And let's beat feet out here. Very good. Come on over here. I seem to recall having more problems with this area last time I played this, or maybe I haven't gotten to parts that did cause me problems, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm better at the game now. I don't know. Or maybe my maybe my build last time wasn't very good. I am more powerful this time. Come on, Cryomo. And Frost Dude picking up the end. The column. The end. The rear, as it were. Okay, let's. You guys get all amped up. And you guys get amped up. Very good. <clears throat> you go over here, you go over here. Let's just get everybody out so we can. And I'm going to apply some healing. Very good. Alright, cool. And let's heal. Two. Alright, I'm going to actually save my game since we got a little bit done right there. I don't want to have to do that again. Oh man, look at that. Bam sis, that's unpleasant. And now let's go. You can just chill right there for now, Evodius. And you guys get a move on. looking for those power crystal things for that mind, whatever his name was, mind, whatever, that we talked to. We had some of them, but we've got a bit, not all of them, and we found one more, so that's good. Oh, darn it. That wasn't a smart idea. I had him go to the wrong area. I didn't realize who I was clicking on. Get up here, Evodius. And use a speed pod. There we are. Can you get through? No, you cannot. That's really stupid of me. See that stupid Drake is in the way. Can you get through? Nope. I think you can. Yes, you can. Alright, we have some more shades. Mine shades, or whatever they're called. Yeah, mine shades. Whatever they are called. Very good. Hammer took care of one of them, and I don't think too big. Oh no, yeah, too big got him. Good job. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's another shade right there. Oh, 
Excellent. That was what? Frostfire? Now Cryomote? Of course, Frostfire is just the new name for py um, Pyromote. You know, Pyromote doesn't really work in Cryomote. No, not Pyromote. Oh, Spitfire. I, I just didn't think Spit Ice sounded as good. <laughs> oh, we're way down. That's what it is. I bet you. Yes, we're encumbered. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Because of that armor that we picked up. But, you know, whatever. Oh well. That's fine. Is there anything else to do here? No, not really. Alright, you Glocks, you Bird Glocks. Oh, that's right, he. Everybody just needs to come get this. What am I talking about? There's nothing left to do. Boy. Alrighty. Looks like there's two ways to go here. Oh, is that a. Like a shaping platform? Will creations be brought into play right there? Any sort of device for the automatic making of creations without direct shaper supervision is illegal. It has been this way for many years. This device predates such directives. The power spirals in this room are conduits which channel the energy from the core and create new shades. That is why there are defenders for the core, even after centuries of abandonment. Until the spawners are deactivated, the core will always be very dangerous. Alright, well, interesting. This is many years, this place predates the prohibitions, 200 years or 200 some odd years. I don't know, I thought it said earlier that, you know, centuries, but maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. who knows. Apparently, Susha Island comes from a point in Shaper history when they hadn't learned a lot of their lessons about caution. But we'll deactivate that. That's not a problem, hopefully. But first, let's go check this box out. Healing spores and a living tool. Nice. Check this out right quick a little bit. Eh, let's actually stay back. We'll have the next one. Next turn, you can check it out further. I don't want him to get totally separated. Alright, well, you just sort of chill right here, and you chill right here. You come over here, and you come around right here, and you come right here. Now you need to come over here and deactivate some stuff. Aha, control key deactivates it. Check it out. Cypress. Hmm. Rogue discipline chamber. Oh, interesting. Hopefully Cypress isn't getting, you know, scared. <laughs> Otherwise, I might need to think about having a new and more even-tempered creation. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. It's probably a grim place. Well, there's the central core again. All right, now let's deactivate this one. Go over here. Just chill. Yeah, now you come over here. Yeah, more discipline area. All right. Oh, come on. Right there. You just chill. You chill. You chill. You chill. 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 Deactivate and deactivate. Very good. Now we need to come over here to. Let's check this out. Hmm. Oh, there's a canister. Good job, Cypress. Alright, well, you come back up here. Good scouting. Actually, you come over here. Who knows what's in that room? Come where you can aim, you know, aim fire. Okay, let's actually save again. 
since we're doing pretty good. Pretty well, if you like. <laughs> Two living tools. Okay, let's check it out. Huh, looks like just a storeroom or something. The cabinet contains a stone. It is shaped like a long crystal, but it is black like onyx, and when you watch it, you think you can see tiny flashes of light under its surface. It is warm to the touch. It's not very heavy. You put it in your pack. Well, that's one of those... Uh... Oh no! Who died? Oh, poor Hill. I totally... Where is Hill? Oh, Hill was in here. Dang, dang, dang. I didn't see he was hurt. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, we just lost a creation needlessly. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, that sucked. You just chill right there. Poor Hill, he's right there. Died. I guess he was too close to that heat from there. I didn't even realize that. Dang it. Hmm. Great work of Odious. Anything here? Oh, he's like, it's not my fault. I'm not the one who forgot. You forgot. Like, I'm totally blaming you. Because I'm responsible that way. Okay, well, let's go right here. There's another living tool right there. Pick up that living tool. Alright, let's just chill until I get my turn again now. Alright, cool. Well, that sucked. That's a bummer right there. And a half. Needless death. <sighs> we could just, you know, reload, but. There's something fake about that. I mean, obviously it's fake because you know you can't. It, you, they already died. But I mean, there's something like you're just pretending that you didn't lose anybody. It's kind of disingenuous. No, it's not. It's fine if you want to play like that, reloading and preserve all your creations. That's a perfectly legit way of. But from a certain point of view, it's like. It's sort of hiding from the fact that this cre cre this cre 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 um, this shaper work in life is not a friendly thing and not a pleasant thing. Even if it's not unfriendly, it's which I don't think it is, but it's definitely not pleasant. Submission baton, yeah. All right. Cypress is like, where, where, where'd Hill go? Well, Hill went to the happy hunting grounds. Where Glocks get to stun lock their prey all day long. <laughs> Let's go right here and shoot. Good job. Oh, what hit us? Oh, another stinking rogue. I mean, another shade. It is a rogue, though. A rogue shade, in a sense. It's not supposed to be there. Let's see what we get. Create clock. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's actually good. So when we need to remake Hill, we can refashion them with an even more powerful. That is really kind of cool. Well, <laughs> God closes the door, sometimes he opens a window. And the question of whether the shapers believe in God or not is not a question that's dealt with very much in this series, but it does come up in Gene Forge 3, especially. There's a 
little bit on it, but we'll deal with that later. But yeah, some shapers believe in God, some in the afterlife and immortality of the soul. And uh oh, burning tur and yeah, burning turrets, big deal. Still, let's just not go nilly willy. willy-nilly. Have I talked about that before on the channel? To will something. We all know what that sort of means. At least we have an idea, whether we have a very <laughs> solid idea of it, I don't know. But to will something, sure, is to, you know, you affirm something with your will. You, you decided that you choose to do something. To You affirm something. But to nil was also a concept, and that was to basically, I, I can't remember exactly, to nil something was to sort of, it's basically to will against it, if I understand it, if I remember correctly. Uh, it looks like we're getting close to time. Should I call this episode? No, let's just try to finish up. We're almost there. Uh-oh, there's a injured sir or dead servile. Well he was fatally injured. <laughs> Sorry, or servile. Sorry, squirrel. Alright, come on, y'all. Let's get going. Good people of YouTube land. Have been waiting for the end of well, some of them anyways, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully some of y'all like Gene Forge or have seen this and maybe you've gotten some interest in Gene Forge. It's a great series. And like I said, there is the remake now that's been started. Jeff Hogel made the first episode. Gene Forge 1 has a remake. And it's pretty cool looking. I have only played it a little bit, but it looks really cool. It's a lot more in depth in many ways. Like you can get your creations all can get like special abilities they just don't just attack which is kind of cool and like even like like Fioras can have special abilities like with their flame weapon their flame breath which is kind of cool and they're probably their bites too I don't know I don't but I thought about playing that one through the let's play but I don't know I wanted to play the classic one because the, the remake series has not progressed past the first game so in a way there's not much point yet to LPing that if you're trying to LP the series which I am let's just have me chill let's have me go over here looks like we're making progress we're almost out I think where are you? Oh, you're right there. Check out this cabinet. Ah, the, this might be the last one we needed. The cabinet contains a stone. It's shaped like a long crystal, but black, like onyx. Yep, yep. Lights flash underneath. It's warm, not very heavy. In our pack. I think we got... That's probably the last focusing stone we needed. Which is excellent. And we can give those to that servile... That servile servant mine. <clears throat> okay, everybody chill, chill, chill. You come over here. Be careful with that. And we're done. Man. I don't know why I thought this was so hard. I must not have been doing... Maybe I didn't do, you know, like... Battle movement. You know, like combat movement. And maybe I was taking so much damage. I don't know. That was not so hard. <laughs> that was not very difficult. I, I And the only one I lost, I lost, I think, because I was negligent, which is, you know, I'm sure as a shaper you, in training, you get your behind stomped for that. Let's go. All right. We just cleared the power cool. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the power station and go talk to that servant mind. Now that we have the rest of the 
focusing orbs or whatever they're called. See all these doors that hopefully this survey mine will open for us. Mine Azo is fully awake and alert now. Yes, Shaper, what do you wish? There are four sockets at the base of the creature's stone berth. One of them has a crystal in it. And we have the other three. I have found some of your crystals. You place your crystals into the holes at the base. As each one enters a slot, Mind Azo seems noticeably more alert. Thank you, Shaper. I am now restored. One moment. It closes its eyes, and you hear clicks from the nearby doors. I have deactivated the shade spawner inside. There will now be less chaos. I will begin repairs. Well, that's good. It doesn't help me much since I already... Uh, let's see. What sort of things do you control? All right. Ah, oh, he opened them. Good. So, ooh, another. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm see the pa the ooh, singing rapier. This is a cool weapon, right there. Yeah. Hmm. Quick action. That's always good. An anatomy that does more damage to you know creatures that have entrails like humans and thods and you know drakes and whatever serviles. Of course, in the next game, it's replaced with parry, but that would still be really good. To plus two to quick action, plus two to parry. Yeah. All right, let's take it. And what is this? Strength. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Because remember, we took a plus a minus two to strength hit when we put on the one of these things. Shaper spoon. Agent shelters. Tinker's gloves. Quick. Oh, Tinker's gloves. Huh. The symbiotic cloak. Nope. What is it that dings us? Ah, this. Quicksilver boots. But now we just gained one of those strength points back. I mean, it was already balanced out because we had, and more so because of Danette's belt. What is in here? Gemstones, rough crystals. Who cares? Increased mass energize. Alright. Cool. Powerful spell. And what's in here? Essence pod, alright. And create that. Oh my goodness. We could upgrade all our melee creations now. <laughs> that is too cool. That is way too cool. Alright, thanks, Mind Azo. Oh, that's it. Thanks a lot, dude. I'll be here when you return, I hope. Yeah, I don't know, dude. We'll see. I mean, do shapers call servant mines dude? I don't know about that either. <laughs> hey, dude. All right, dude. Uh-oh. What's that? Oh, well, there's some creation that just appeared on the map, but... He obviously saw how powerful we are and, you know, took the wiser course and ran. Probably a Fiora or a Cryora. Cryoa. There, totally cleared. Nice, excellent work. Good stuff. Well, I that is really cool. I did not expect to beat that, and not especially not so easily. But I think I'm going to call this episode here. And next time we will make some, recreate our creations, replace our dead, you know, poor hill, and you know, go through our junk, and then we'll head on to where we're going to go next. So we're getting really close. Now I'm kind of wondering, should we go and settle Gesh? I don't know. We'll probably settle Trajkov first, though, one way or the other. So thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Gene Forge 1 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.